So I've been trying to optimize my scheduling process recently, and there are a bunch of apps that can help with that. Two of the most popular options that come to mind are Calendly and uh, TidyCal. And from what I've seen, they both provide some stellar features at a decent price. But how do they fare in a head-to-head -head competition? I decided to find out. So stay tuned while I tell you everything you need to know. First up, how does their pricing compare? One thing's for sure. If you're a freelancer or solopreneur, TidyCal will work great simply because of its pricing. You can pay just $29 for a lifetime subscription. Yep, you heard that right. This one low payment will have you set for life, which is a whole lot better than what Calendly offers. To put it simply, Calendly is the more expensive option by far, even though it offers two separate price plans. The cheaper option is Calendly's Essentials Plan, which will set you back about 96 bucks a year, and the professional costs double, or $192 in other words. TidyCal already seems like the front runner because with prices this low, I can't give it any less than a 5 out of 5. Calendly is a tad expensive, no doubt, so I'll have to give it a 3 out of 5 tops. But with that said, you can't judge a platform based on pricing alone. You also need to consider the features they offer. If you want a wide variety of appointment types at your disposal, you're in luck. Both TidyCal and Calendly have an unlimited number, so you can create the exact type of schedule that suits your workflow. The similarities don't end there either. Both platforms allow you to embed schedules into a website, create appointment packages for easy organization, Zoom integration, and email support. However, TidyCal does offer a few features that you'll miss in Calendly's Essentials Plan. Customer reminders, paid appointment options, and Zapier integration are all available on TidyCal, but absent from the Essentials feature list. To be fair, the professional plan offers each of these features and more. You also get text notifications, chat support, and most importantly, analytics integration. That last one might just be a deal breaker for me personally. Analytics are a big part of streamlining your workflow, and the fact that Calendly's professional plan allows you to integrate it is a big plus point in my book. Oh, and Calendly's total number of possible integrations is about 118. TidyCal only manages six, which is fine if you work alone, but not so great if you're managing a team or an organization. Also, Calendly offers a level of customization that's hard to beat. As great as TidyCal is, it doesn't manage to offer quite as much control over the user experience. Another downside to using TidyCal is that it doesn't offer any team scheduling. And right off the bat, I found that Calendly made it super easy to coordinate with a team. This platform is clearly designed for major players and small businesses alike, which is why you can set up round robin meetings that are kind of like open forums, where team members can voice their thoughts and concerns. The ability to create custom events also goes a long way here. Every company is different, so you can't just make a one-size-fits-all solution. Customization is the name of the game these days, and TidyCal doesn't really measure up in this aspect. Also, TidyCal doesn't offer the same level of automation as Calendly. Having to manage your meetings manually can be a real pain. With Calendly, you can have everything running automatically like clockwork, which sounds like something every scheduling app should have. I'd say that both platforms gave a strong showing in this round, but Calendly came out on top. I'm giving TidyCal a 3 out of 5, and Calendly a 5 out of 5, because of the professional plan's superior offerings. Sure, it's expensive, but I'd argue that you're getting your money's worth. That brings both their totals to 9 out of 10. Okay, let's get into the user experience next. TidyCal does a great job of providing an interface that anyone can use, regardless of how tech savvy they might be. That's a major concern, because a lot of people starting businesses these days might not know too much about advanced tech stuff. They just want a simple, no muss, no fuss interface that gets the job done. That's exactly what they'll get with TidyCal. In fact, the lack of team settings actually has a silver lining here because it makes the interface that much easier to navigate. The menu isn't overwhelming at all, so 
I was easily able to just check out all of the features. Now, Calendly is definitely bringing its A game to the user experience as well. It goes beyond their cool features though, with the polished and clean user interface standing out most of all. Also, there are a bunch of ways to make your life easier through Calendly, like the country specific availability settings. Basically, you can select your country from the drop down list and Calendly will automatically tell people you're unavailable whenever there's a local public holiday. You can also customize your availability settings, which is great for folks who keep unconventional hours. And in case you ever need to switch things up, it's as easy as pie thanks to Calendly's convenient design. And then there's the setup process. It's the first indication of the type of user experience you can expect. And Calendly has put a ton of effort into creating a seamless onboarding for all users with a step-by-step -step guide and even walkthrough videos for you to go through. This really helped me get the most value out of the tool, which is kind of important considering how much I'm paying for it. It also proves once again that Calendly isn't just lining its pockets with your money, but rather investing it in an optimized user experience. The platform pulls out all the stops to make sure you use the tool to its full potential. Now, I wish I could say the same for TidyCal, but I just can't. There's a three-step setup after which you're left to just fend for yourself. And while the interface may be easy enough to figure out, I'd have liked a bit more effort from the platform. And just because it's simple doesn't mean we don't need a warm welcome. And circling back to availability hours, TidyCal doesn't make it nearly as easy to override your default schedule. You have to open each separate event and manually adjust your available hours. That's just so inconvenient when compared to Calendly. And it's honestly not surprising at the end of the day. I mean, TidyCal charges under 30 bucks for a lifetime subscription. It was gonna have to cut costs somewhere. So the low price unfortunately comes at the user experience's expense. With all that considered, TidyCal gets a two out of five from me for its rather subpar user experience, which brings it to a total of 11. As for Calendly, I'd say their incredible design and fully optimized experience deserves another five out of five for a total of 14. But wait, what if you want to try the free version instead? This is a whole separate category because the kind of people that want to use the free version of either platform might not care about the lack of features. All you might want is a bare bones experience that covers all the essentials. And both Calendly and TidyCal have free versions available that fit the bill. Okay, you technically only get one calendar connection with either option, but that's still a decent way to test the waters. Calendly also limits you to just one appointment type, while TidyCal gives you unlimited options without asking for a cent. However, the free version of Calendly does offer Zoom integration, which is pretty great because conducting a meeting without Zoom sounds like an absolute nightmare. They both offer email support and website embedding, so Zoom integration is ultimately the deciding factor. TidyCal gets a 4 out of 5 here, and Calendly gets yet another score of 5. I think I can safely say that we have a winner here. To absolutely no one's surprise, Calendly ended up being my preferred choice. Look, comparing a platform used by Fortune 500 companies to a simple tool for solopreneurs it wasn't a fair fight to begin with, but considering TidyCal's super low price, I had to see if Calendly was worth it. Sure enough, it proved that it's worth every penny with a user experience that's great for billion dollar organizations and recently launched startups alike. Calendly is packed with features that cater to the broadest possible audience, all while offering a seemingly limitless range of customization options. What more could you ask for? Its final score turned out to be 19 out of 20, which is about as good as it gets. Now, TidyCal's final score 15 out of 20 isn't exactly terrible, but it's not great either. It's a decent choice if you're working at a very small scale, but if you expect any growth, you might not be able to get far with TidyCal. But what do you think? Have you tried either of these platforms before? Let me know what your experience was like, if so. That's all for now. See you in the next one.